So I thought I would do a video showing like a little pre-holiday glow up. Um, so today I'm just off to get my nails done because they're looking not cute at the minute. So I've never actually been to this girl before so I'm hoping she won't mind me just filming a few clips while I'm there. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to get yet. So I'm going to have to basically just sort of give her an idea and see what she thinks that I should do because I never ever have acrylics, like never, I always do my own gels but they never really last on holiday when you have gels so I thought well I'll get some acrylics done and treat myself and then later tonight we need to do something about these eyebrows because I feel like you probably can't see in this light but they are horrendous so I've got a home um, tinting kit and we're going to get them plucked and a little bit neater and do some more glow up when I get home this evening. Most of this will actually be DIY except for the nails so I feel like it might be useful for people, anyone wanting a glow up, it doesn't have to be for holiday, it can be just a glow up in general but yeah I thought it might be an interesting video so really need to go because I'm going to be late, let's go. Okay so I've just got out of having my nails done, I didn't bother to ask if I could film while she was working. It's the first time I've ever met her and I didn't want to put her under pressure and I didn't want her to feel like she had to say yes, but I absolutely love them. So I've gone with a French tip acrylic and then I've just got a bit of a swirl design on each ring finger on both hands and I love them. I was a bit nervous about getting acrylics to be honest and having them too long and stuff, but I mean, they look kind of long on here, but they're not actually that long and I feel like you do get used to them really quickly with acrylics even when you've not had them on for a while so absolutely love them okay so i'm pretty sure you'll be able to tell this but i've literally just woken up um i have made myself a cup of tea and it is really early it's like 7 a.m i go on holiday today and i am so excited but i just couldn't sleep i feel like i've got so many things to do so i decided to just get up and get some of the things done so last night i actually um tweezered my eyebrows them tweezers that i use are not the best to be honest so i feel like i've still got the odd like faint hair underneath but to be honest they're 10 times better than they was because i was starting to get a monobrow like i'm not even kidding um so i'm glad that i did that last night but i'm gonna dye them now um i honestly just feel like it just means that like when I wake up in the morning on holiday, obviously I'm not going to wear makeup during the day. I'll feel a bit more put together because I haven't got lashes on. I was debating getting my lashes done, but I haven't had them done since I was about 13. So I was like, mm, probably not the best time to experiment when I'm going on holiday, to be honest. So, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, so this is the dye that I actually use. I've just found my really good tweezers which is annoying so i might pop the dye on and then get some last little straggly hairs so i feel like i can't do anything with these nails on it comes in a little tray like this and you basically get a um activator cream and a color cream and then you're supposed to mix it in this little tray this is for applying it but i don't use this i like to use this to sort of brush the hairs and get them into place used an ang i usually use an angled makeup brush like this one it's roughly the same amount at the state of my hair always remember when you're using anything new like this to do a patch test you might have had your eyebrows uh, dyed before but like if you're not using the same one that you always do you could have a reaction to it and you don't want to put it all over your eyebrows okay so this is what it looks like now it's all mixed in is it gonna come? like so and then i'm just gonna take the brush where i want to dye so that's one done um okay so that is on now um i can't quite remember how long you're supposed to leave it on for but i think i usually leave it on a little bit longer five to ten minutes so 10 minutes is the average application but it can be increased or lower depending on how thing you want them because i'm going on holiday i'll probably have them on a bit longer because i want them to be last a lot bit long lasting coconut foot pack and i can't remember where i got this from i'm pretty sure it's from like home bargains or something because it, it i recognize it but it's a deep moisturizing foot pack 
and it says penetrates deep into the skin to reduce callus buildup and help repair and soften split heels but it takes 20 minutes so i'm gonna put this on and sit on the couch and chill out for a little bit i feel like i need to like i've got a lot to do today so um yeah we're gonna sit down for 20 minutes and put this on and see what it's like um the light little you see that the light little booty type things I also did my toes last night which I'll show you in a sec but um I didn't think that it would be interesting enough to film me doing my painting my toenails to be honest I don't really feel like anyone would want to see my mon monster munch but I'm going to show you now that it is finished you know what I've just realized if I'd have gone and sat down and put this on right now in 10 minutes this would need to come off and that would be I won't be able to get up because I'll be wearing these boot things. So I'm not going to go and do that now, but I am going to go and um, tidy up a little bit and then I'll come back and wipe it off and then I'll go back and sit down and put this on. So it's been about 12 minutes, something like that. Um, I'm going to use a baby wipe to take these off, but I would recommend using a cotton pad and some like micellar water because it tends to be with a rougher texture, but easier to get off. Um, so I'm just going to wipe this off. I did realise when I was looking in the mirror then that I had smudged it somehow. I think I itched my eyebrow, forgetting that I had it on. But um, So you want to go in both directions. Oh, I'm getting it all over my nails. <laughs> and just make sure that you're getting all of that tint off. I feel like this could have had a little bit more of a squared off look um, on the right hand side. But... It's not the end of the world because I will be filling them in when I go out and stuff. And okay, I'm going to go and have my breakfast now. I realised that um, it was actually nearly 8 o'clock and we're going to be going to the gym at half 8. So I need to have my breakfast get changed. So now is not time to put the foot mask on. So I'm going to do that when I get back. And I'm also going to do myself like a little mini facial um, as well. And just get all of my skin prepped and ready because i'll be flying today so i want it all nice and like cleared and hydrated um i think i'm going to put a little bit of makeup on but not too much at the airport because it just makes you feel a bit crappy doesn't it when you're traveling with makeup on your skin um so yeah so i'm going to go and have my breakfast and go to the gym and then when i get back i will be doing my hair i'm thinking i might put a face a hair mask in whilst i'm at the gym so i've had a shower and washed my hair i have blow dried it to about 80 percent dry to be honest i probably did some sections a little bit too dry but i think it'll be fine um i'm just going to give myself a quick blow dry and pop in some rollers and then keep them in for a little bit before i go um i've already done a video like in, in detail really on how i do my blow dries at home so i'm not going to show you everything um i'm just going to include a few little clips but i'm going to do this now and then i pretty much just have my makeup to do and um some last minute packing bits all done i'm just gonna put a little bit of this styling spray on and then just gonna leave that for i think i'll be able to leave it for about an hour an hour and a half and then when i take it out i'll just do a really light mist of hairspray um so i'm just gonna go and wash my face and do my skincare and then i'll be ready to put some makeup on i'm not gonna put much on I think i said before but um i just want a little bit of something to make me feel a little bit more put together okay so i'm just going to give myself like a little mini facial get everything cleansed and then um i can do my skincare so i'm just going to put on some of this bha exfoliating concentrate and this is by balance me get in those pores it smells like oranges then I'm just going to use this Thirsty Skin Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum and I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. It's not focusing. I'm just going to put some of this on before I put my serum. And then I'm going to follow it up with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum and I'm going to put that all over my face. I've been using this for quite a while now and I love it. Now I'd normally use my Charlotte Tilbury Eye Cream 
but I've packed that. So I'm going to use the other one that I have, which is the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. And then I'm just going to spray my face with this saint um Purity Face Mist. It's actually a face self-tanner. Um, obviously I'm going on holiday, but I'm not going to have a tan for a few days. So I feel like that will be enough to last me until I get a little bit of colour. And then I'm just going to put some cuticle oil onto my nails. So this is an NCLA treatment and this is the So Rich Cuticle Oil. And I'm just going to put it on each finger and on my toes as well. Not actually had a chance to do my foot mask yet. Kind of don't really have 20 minutes to be able to sit down and do it to be honest now. Maybe I'll shove it in my case and do it when I get there. Polish. And again, it's not keeping focus, but just putting some oil on those. You can probably see that my, this looks like it's like, I think there's like a blurring thing turned on. I have no idea how that got on, but basically there was a smoothing thing on. Um, yeah, so as you can see, my skin's nice and glowy and all ready for makeup so i'm gonna go and put a bit of that on now and then we're pretty much ready to go other than taking these out in a little bit i've actually just used my tan foundation color instead of my lighter one because i always take a bit of a darker one on holiday i'm gonna have to lighten it up with plenty of concealer because i ain't taking it off Finally, this should help lighten it up. This is the Maybelline Age Eraser and oh my God, it's incredible. People have used this concealer on when I'm doing their makeup. I've literally most people have used it on have been like, whoa, what have I used on my under eye? Because it's just so brightening and blurring and really inexpensive. Okay, makeup is done. Just a really simple look just a little bit of bronzer blush some mascara and i've not put anything on my eyebrows because i tinted them before so just need to wait for my hair to set a little bit longer and then i can take that out and we are all done i'm not going to put any lipstick on just because cba reapplying that i'll just probably just put lip oil in my bag and top that up when i feel like i need it taking my hair out of the rollers and this is the result this side always seems to go better than the other side and Honestly, I don't know why. I think because I use one big one, where on this side I use two, that's why this side's looking a little less curly, if that makes sense. But I really like it. I feel like it gives a nice blow wave effect. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm all ready to go now. I've just got to put my case in the car and finish packing my airport bag so that'll be the end of this video um i hope that you've enjoyed watching it i really like watching these videos so that's basically why i wanted to do one myself i will be vlogging whilst i'm in greece so there will be some videos yet to come from there so um make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, if you want to see when those go up but yeah thank you again for watching and hope to see you here again soon bye